If you want to have hundreds of millions of credits, you can purchase Forza Motorsport 7 or Forza Horizon 3 credits from the link in the description from Digizani. They provide cheap, fast and reliable credits for as low as £3. You can also use code JAKE for 5% off your order. <laughs> I've managed to remove some of the uh, headlights as well so it doesn't look all weird since I thought it did look a bit strange like that. But here we go. Right, I'm going to put my foot down for the first time. Rapid Mini Cooper, it needs better brakes, that's for sure. How's it going everyone? Jake XVX here, back on Forza Horizon 3 once again. Now I was looking through my comment section yesterday evening as I always do and I came across another suggestion that one of you guys uh, suggested which caught my eye and I thought that's actually pretty cool. It wasn't so much the idea itself that caught my eye, it was the way that it was worded. I'll try to find the comment and put, put, I'll put it on screen if I find it because I'm not very good at remembering to take screenshots. But basically, this guy said, make a Mini Cooper Mustang. And it just rolls off the tongue. It's pretty cool. So I'm presuming what this guy meant is get a Mini Cooper of any sort, pop a Mustang engine in it, and just mod it like crazy. Which is exactly what we're going to do to this Mini Cooper John Cooper Works, or whatever it's called, I don't remember. But I have already placed a bunch of upgrades ready to put on this thing. So we're going to get straight into upgrading this car. Let me just try to check which engine I had on it because I've forgotten. That's it. So let's start to do this thing up. If we go to engine swap, we can swap the engine to a 4.9 litre V8, which is actually from a Mustang Boss 302 or however you say it. It's got quite a nice engine sound, so that's the reason I chose that one. Um, I'm going to make it rear wheel drive. I might make it, make it all wheel drive though, and you'll see why soon. Of course, we've got to have a lot of horsepower as well. Now for the wheels, for the front tyre width, we'll make them thick, but not too thick. And for the rear, I want them nice and thick. Oh yes, look at that. We'll swap up the rims, just something black, I suppose. Either of those would do. Just, just do that one, something nice and black. Get the rim size changed as well. This is already starting to look pretty cool. If we fully upgrade the drive train as well. Drive line and brakes. Um, the springs, I think, are going to... Whoa. Oh, yes. We'll edit that in a minute. Engine, intake, carburetor, ignition. We will just fully upgrade the engine. Right. That's the thing, fully upgraded. We've got some nice rims on it. We've got some nice beefy rear tyres because it's going to be quite fast with the Mustang engine in it. How much horsepower does it have? Just over 3,000 horsepower. So it's going to be rapid. Right, we can move on to the tuning now. Um, I reckon we should give it a bit of camber. Maybe just a couple of degrees. Maybe two. 2.8. Why not? 2.8 degrees. That's good enough. And the springs are a bit too low at the moment, so let's bump them up a, a centimetre and a bit. Has that fixed it completely? I'd say that's good enough. I'm not too happy about the rear tyres, though. Actually, they're not that bad. I suppose on the road, they're going to look a bit cool and hopefully perform pretty well. Now, something else I want to do, um, which I haven't usually done, is I want to take the bonnet off. I just want to have an exposed... 4.9 litre V8 engine. There. Now, I know that's technically the Mini Cooper's engine, but it's still pretty cool to have it exposed. Warren, would you shut up? I do not care. I think that should be pretty damn cool now. Let's have a look at this. Ah. Oh, I forgot it did that. Hang on, I think we can get around that. Um, I think we can override it. Um, that didn't work. Force best. Ah, there we go. Look. Now we can drive around. Whoa, that is... That is fast. <laughs> I've managed to remove some of the uh, headlights as well so it doesn't look all weird since I thought it did look a bit strange like that. But here we go. Right, I'm going to put my foot down for the first time. This should be really fast. 
Here we go. Oh, look at that grip. That grip is insane. I was expecting it to wheel spin and... This is rapid. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, then. Doesn't look like we can use interior view, that's for sure. <laughs> This is so cool. This is so cool. It sounds amazing as well. Ah. I was on for a top speed run then. I am curious as to what the top speed is of this thing is. So uh, let's go give it a run, shall we? Here we go. Oh, struggle to get into sixth gear then. Sixth gear is the slow one. Whoa, getting a bit wobbly, getting a bit wobbly. Ah, oh. it, it kind of struggles after 320 miles an hour, which is fast enough, to be honest. Third gear is mental. That is crazy. I want to find a front, a front uh, drive somewhere just to take a pretty cool photo with this car because this car is cool. Oh yeah. I'm still that massive. I'd be happy about the headlights, to be honest, but that is one cool-looking V8 Mini Cooper. There's actually one more place that I want to take a photo with this thing. Now that I think about it, this would be pretty cool. Not sure if many of you remember the video where we drained the ocean and there just wasn't any water left. I've just done that again, so it should be pretty cool to go over to the ocean and take a photo overlooking the as to what looks like salt flats you'll see the water has been drained out of here as well rapid mini cooper it needs better brakes that's for sure oh i think the water must be drained from here as well yeah it is i mean the water is still kind of there but it doesn't look like it's there that's what's pretty cool about it. I'm just going to teleport there because I cannot be bothered to walk there because I am lazy. Walk? I meant drive. We can't walk on Forza. Imagine if we could get out the car and walk on Forza. That'd be, that'd be really weird. Here we go. What used to be the ocean is now completely flat. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Go and drive on it. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't. The game still kind of thinks the ocean's there, even though it's not. It's really weird. Um, I don't think it... I, I think it just doesn't load. There we go. That's the kind of scene I like. Just no water to be seen whatsoever. Well, apart from a floating boat in the distance. How's it going, floating boat? Get a pretty cool view of the V8 Mini Cooper, though. Pretty damn cool. 
Sweet. Now, one last thing I reckon I should do in this Cooper. Let's take it into a race and see how well it performs. Remember guys, as I always say, any suggestions, let me know. My past two videos have all been viewers' suggestions. The Mini Cooper Mustang and whatever my previous video was. I don't know how I've managed to forget. Oh yeah, we, we jumped in a Lamborghini Murcia Lago and we made the red line 100 RPM. It was very weird. Go check it out. Right, let's have a little race in this thing. I think this is kind of some kind of sprint race. Can't see anything. Here we go. Oh, they are just going to get murked. Let's just go as fast as we can. Rapid through all the checkpoints. 300 miles an hour until I crash. We still got the checkpoint though. We're all right. Oh dear. It's not easy to control a car with modded speed, modded grip, but no modded brakes. Probably should have done that. That probably would have been a smart thing to do. Get out of my way, young sir. I have a job to do. Uh, doesn't handle massively well. I suppose we are going 340 miles an hour, but still. Get the back end out. Yes. Oh, it's good at sliding around corners. Not good at right driving around corners. Uh, trees. I can't see a thing. It's all dark. My lights are on or anything. Apart from the checkpoints, obviously, but if I couldn't see the checkpoints, I'd be rather screwed. At this point, I'm just driving towards the blue lights because I can't see anything. This is so strange. Oh, oh, hang on. It finishes here. Go, 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 go. Second gear. First gear, I mean. First gear. Oh, hit the light. Winning. Hit the light. We win. Now, that was just strange. I don't know if it was supposed to be dark like that, but... Very interesting. This is such a cool car. It handles the power so well. I don't want the Ferrari F355. Yeah, give me some credits. Give me 14,000 credits. Yeah, that's what I wanted, isn't it? Not. Why is it all dark again? Okay, this definitely shouldn't be like this. My lights aren't on. There's no street lights. I cannot see anything. Let's change the weather. <laughs> that changed it up a bit, didn't it? There we go. Anyway, ladies, as I said, this was a viewer's request. So if you can think of any other suggestions, any other ideas on the dev build, it doesn't have to be car related. Just put it in the comment section below and I'll have a look. Scroll through my most recent videos, see if there's anything that catches your eye and thought, and if you can just think of any ideas, just give me them. But anyway, ladies, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't for more Forza content, and I'll see you all in the next video. Ah, oh, of course we eat an invisible wall.